Alright, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to get to a place in Freelancer Discovery Mod 4.85 today, a place a lot of people don't know about. Anyways, right now we're in the Magellan system, we're at Freeport 4, set a waypoint to G6, because that's the only civilian waypoint on how to get, that's a Kansas waypoint. But uh, I decided to do this because not a lot of people know where Unknown is. They don't know how to get there. Uh, the, a lot of important stuff is there. Uh, well, storyline wise. And a lot of the admins and people that's already been there don't tell anybody where it's at. They say there's some kind of riddle, but that's a load of crap because it took me eight months to figure out how to get in there by myself. And I've I have explored every system, every single system in Discovery, and there is no riddle whatsoever. Thank you admins and stuff for lying, and I'm doing this in single player, and I modified my cruise speed to 500, and there's our jump hole, way up there. Notice it's not on the same plane as everything else, makes it sort of difficult to find. Stop right here and delete my other waypoint don't need it anymore. I sort of knew it was in this general area anyways. I just placed it there for you guys to know where it's at. But that's probably going to be the last waypoints we use. At least for a while. So we're going to go ahead and go to the jump hole and end up in... This is Kansas Sector. Uh, not a whole lot here. We spawned... We uh, came in, jump hole through an asteroid field. Uh, there's a few planets, none of them dockable. Actually, none of them is inhabitable either, according to the wiki. And so we're going to head for that gigantic, ominous purple cloud. Because that's where we need to go. Um, about the only thing I can tell everybody is that you need to have... You need to be as neutral as you can with everybody. I know that when you start Freelancer Discovery, you're going to be like hostile with Xenos and the guard systems, but that's okay. As long as you're as neutral with as many people as possible. And uh, right up here, this is Junction Wreck. I try to stay away from it because I don't know what happened. And a lot of people say there's no real threat to being in this system, but a friend and I have been here on numerous occasions, and we've both been attacked and killed several times by cloaked ships. So I'm pretty paranoid right now. Because I don't want to die. I don't want to fail. Anyways, um, yeah, you need to be as neutral as possible with everybody. Uh, preferably a freelance or a civilian ID and you need to have an unmarked civilian ship. I don't mean no ID because that's going to get you banned on just about every server. Just unmarked as in like not made by any particular corporation. Like right now, you know, giving you a very good look of my uh, rock civilian bomber. I prefer it over a lot of fighters. So onward to this purple cloud that hasn't shown up on my map. Because, like I said, I'm playing this on single player just so I can alter a few things. And, um, yeah, see that? My waypoint's way up there because, you know, that's where the, uh, the game sort of X axis is and everything is off, you know. It's like real space in this sector. Nothing is really on a de definitive X axis. Or a Y axis for that matter. Or a Z-axis. The Z-axis is for 3D, if people don't know that. X and Y is 2D. You add a third thing, it's the Z-axis, and it's 3D. Anyways, enough of me rambling on about, you know, stuff people could care less about. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and give you my ship loadout. I have Heavy Thruster... Classic shield, um, max nanobot shield batteries, uh, nothing but energy turrets, uh, four energy guns and one energy turrets, and we're going to fly into this cloud here. It's I got I had to cut the video because it took me forever to figure out where I was because 
Yeah. Because of the sensor efficiency. And okay, there we go. I'm back now. Um, I put a few waypoints because I flew around forever and couldn't find anything. I'm still flying around forever and, and I figured out, you know, all the waypoints were going to put me on top of everything. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. If you can find the rattlesnake, you can find the gate. I'm not using thruster, I mean my cruise engine here, because it's, you know, 500 times, you know, normal impulse there. Don't know why I wanted to do that. I guess it made me feel safer. Anyways, I'm going to go up ahead and get you guys a really close look at this ship. Uh, you can see the star out there, one of them. Can't see the other one, I don't think. It's a, uh, not letting me scan it, but it's like one of those, uh, stilettos or something. And it lets off some pretty good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and tractor in some of it. But that's how you mine the ships. That's how you get the code name weapons. Alright, see that you see where it's pointing? It's pretty much pointing directly at the gate. So whatever pilot was um, flying there had gotten a glimpse of the gate and was turning around or something. This is my theory. It was turning around and was probably blasted by nomads or something as his ship's still there pointing at the gate. The gate is roughly about 5k out from the um yeah, there it is. 5k out from the ship. So, I'm still pretty paranoid. Because uh, this whole place is just creepy. And the gate's actually destroyed. It shouldn't work. But check this out. It's about to work anyways. Now, once you go through here, I'll go ahead and tell you guys. The jump hole is at E1 and the shrine, which is the nomad... Um... Nomad base, it's got the Corsairs leader there and the Outcast leader. Everybody there is infected with a Nomad, and you can buy a Nomad ship there if you want to. Just no Nomad weapons. But the jump hole to get out of here is an E1, and it takes you back to Pennsylvania system, and it exits you at the Texas jump hole. So, no map. Um, I don't think you can fill up your map. There's not a whole lot of planets here. All of them are pretty much undockable, and my whole strength is constantly going down because there's a ton of radiation in the system. Redo my waypoint here because it's more or less like that. It's actually a bit in from that. The wiki lied about its location. I like flew past, almost flew past the shrine on my first time here, going through here. But yeah, there's a there's a few planets. Uh, I don't know if that's a star or a something because it won't let me select it, but it's probably pretty far out there. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff at the shrine. Storyline-wise, um, you know, universe base wise but there's not a whole lot of good stuff. Um, if you look just to the left of my ship and up a bit from the wing, that little big dark circle over there, that's a planet. That's about e where E1 is, and that's about where the jump hole is. As long as you just map it to E1 and fly there, you'll find the jump hole. Just be prepared for Xenos when you get out. Uh, I'm not going to go into the shrine. That's for you guys to figure out if you want to play and, you know, find out everything. I've played Discovery a long time, and I have pretty much know everything about the Freelancer universe. There it is. It's off to the left there. I mean, off to the right. Um, I'm deleting my waypoint. It's at... Well, if I would ever close my thing... There it is. There it is. That's the shrine right there. It's a nomad get station, and if you're hostile, that thing's got guns on it that'll kill you instantly. But that's how you get to it, and all. And um, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you guys.